What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're unboxing the 2022 Hot Wheels Premium Exotic Envy Set, which includes two brand new castings. On the back of each card, you can see all five cars displayed that are included in this set. Car number one of five is the 1969 Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. This one's yellow with white wheels, and it is a brand new casting. I love the artwork on here. You can see the car. It looks like it's sitting in some sort of dark garage. You can see that nice white front painted with the yellow backing right there just like our casting itself let's go ahead and open this one up And there it is in all of its glory. I love the, the top look of this one right here. I love this like bubble type roof that they have right here, which shows the interior of the car. I think that looks fantastic. We can even see right in the back right there, we've got our engine right through that see-through window right there. I believe it's a V12 that this car has. Correct me if I'm wrong, could be a V8. It actually might be a V8. I see like eight cylinder heads right there. So yeah, could be a V8. But we see on the back right here, the nice exhaust that shows through the number 33 right there. The nice tail lights on the rear right there. I love the real rider tires, obviously being a premium metal base, real riders. I love how that we have that yellow bottom there as well, which kind of blends in right to the top right there. And we can see on the front end, there is your yellow with that white kind of surrounding the front end, got the bubble lights on it as well. This one, I'm very, very impressed. I'm usually not a huge fan of like the older cars. I'm more into the newer supercars and stuff, but this Alfa Romeo just looks really, really cool. And car number two, 205 is the McLaren Speedtail. This one in the blue with gray wheels. And we can see on the artwork right here, we've got, it looks like it's sitting outside, possibly like a New York scene, another dark scene as well. But the outdoor look looks really cool. I love how the blue hue of the card kind of blends in with that blue hue in the background. That looks really, really nice. Let's go ahead and open this one up and get a closer look at it. And there it is, a really, really cool, nice light blue color with some metallic to it. You can see the metallic flakes kind of just shine within my lighting right there. We've got it fully blacked out on the top, so we cannot see through, so there's no interior. We can't see that center seat position, unfortunately. We look at the front end right there. We can see the crazy aerodynamic design of the McLaren Speedtail. On the side right here, we've got like these, uh, they're like gray wheels right here. I think they're like 10 gray wheels. They've got a little bit of a dish to them. So kind of like deep dish wheels, which is interesting on a speed tail. The, the real McLaren speed tail has like the wheels on the back and then the different ones on the front right there. So uh, we do have it in one of our castings. They have the, the main lines. It has the different front and rear wheel tire combination on there, but they've gone with just the customized one for this one right here. On the back end, we can see that diffuser right there that kind of just shoots out the back and it is the matte bottom finish and it is real riders as well. Obviously just slick real rider tires on there, but McLaren Speedtail looking really, really good from this set. Car number three of five is the Koenigsegg Agera R. And this one we can see, it looks like it's in sort of some big studio right there. We've got the nice red color. Those lights on the front are just shining away. Great color, red with the black wheels. I think it looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and open it. And this one, you might think it looks familiar because the original release of this car from the Need for Speed series, this one looks excellent. It's very, very glossy red color right here. It is a plastic rear wing on here as well. And I love these wheels. These wheels are coming out on a lot of different new Hot Wheels. They look good on the JDM cars, but this Koenigsegg, I think it looks excellent. We've got the staggered look, so bigger ones in the rear, smaller ones in the front end right there. And there is that front end of that Koenigsegg Agera R. I love that paint, those striping right there. That looks really, really good. And if we look on the back right here, I always look for that Koenigsegg Ghost. Uh, some of the Hot Wheels do have it. It does not look like we've got the Ghost from the Koenigsegg on here at all. That rear end though, right there, looking nice. Very, very good at the blacked out rear end. On the side, it does have the little Agera logo just right there as well. And I just love the top look at that. And the, the removable roof on the real life car, you can see it's obviously 
not in the Hot Wheels format. We have the black base on here as well, a nice matte finished black base, kind of like the Speedtail one that we saw. Slicks on here as well, but all around, it's an excellent looking Hot Wheels casting. I'm so glad that they brought this back into the main lines as well as we've got it now in a premium again. Car number four of five is the 1994 Bugatti EB110. There it is right there. And for our card look, it looks like we're in some sort of underground parking. We've got the nice smoke to kind of add to the effect of it right there. We've got the headlights on, which look really good. I love the wheels that are on here because these are period correct wheels to what the casting has as well. So it really, really suits the wheels on this casting. It looks like the card, it has like a lighter blue color. It could be just because of the lighting, the way that they've done the picture for it. But the car itself is a little bit more of a royal blue color. Color. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And there it is. Wow, I love the blue color on this one. It looks excellent. And the design of this one, all the slots you can see on the front right there, it continues along the side. We've got the like air vent slots on the top right there. This one's obviously got the quad turbo engine as well. And we do have that big rear spoiler, which is metal and fully integrated into the body right there. Great design on the back. And interesting enough, the card itself specifies this as the 94 Bugatti EB110. It does not say SS, which is super sport, which the mainline variations do. But when we look on the back of this car right here, you can see the license plate EB110 SS. So is it the super sport or is it just the regular one? I'm going with the super sport because that's what the mainline variation was. And I think they just forgot to write that on the card itself. We look at the base right here. We've got a full metal base and it's obviously in that matte black as well. Full real rider tire combination. Loving the wheels, loving the look of this Bugatti EB110 super sport. And car number five of five is the Lamborghini Ascenza SCV12. And this one looks like on the card itself, it looks like a green color. But if we look at the car, it's more of like a satin green, almost goldish hue to it. So you decide what color you think it is. I think this car looks excellent. It is a brand new for Hot Wheels casting as well, which they've released in this premium line. We look at the card itself. It's got that nice outdoor picture right there with the nice bluish hue background. I just love all of the pictures on these cards. This is one of the coolest looking cards I've ever seen on premium set. Let's go ahead and open up this Lamborghini here. And there it is. Just check that top out. I love the color that, co that I would say it's more green now that I've got it open up. So it's green with the black rear end or it's almost like a dark green. And you can see it's it almost blends kind of together. It kind of fades to the back. But wow, the exotic design of this Lamborghini is absolutely crazy. Just look at that top view, that vent that goes down the center right there, right into that rear engine. We've got the vents in the front right there as well. We look on the side, nice blacked out wheels. They've got that deep dish look to them as well. That is the 63 right there. So 1963, the first year of Lamborghini. And there's a lot of uh, special edition cars are coming out with that have 63 of them made. I believe they've got the Lamborghini SVJ 63 edition, as well as the Lamborghini Sienna as well in the 63 variations they've made. This one's got a full big wing on here and it is a full metal wing so very very nicely done we've got a little bit of a glossy base to it so that's an interesting new base we've got the real rider wheel tire combination what a fantastic looking new hot wheels casting and there we have all five cars from the brand new 2022 hot wheels premium car culture exotic envy set let me know in the comment section down below which one of these cars was your favorite what's up peak timers let's unbox the brand new hot wheels premium fast and furious set on the back of each card we've got all of the cars listed that are included from this set as well as the movie that it was from car number one of five is the 95 mitsubishi eclipse let's open it this is your classic original Fast and Furious movie, Mitsubishi Eclipse, the one that did get blown up kind of at the beginning of the movie, but I love the colorway on this. The green, the carbon hood, the graphics on the side, the blacked out wheels look really, really good. That spoiler 
right there, that big spoiler. We've got the nice detail for the lights, the license plate right there, premium tires on there. So we've got the real riders on there, a matte finish on the bottom, just an all around excellent looking Hot Wheels premium casting. Car number 205 is the Nissan 240SX S14. Check out the graphics as well on the side of this one. So cool looking. We've got some good detail for the rear lights, the license plate, that nice spoiler. It's kind of like a mid-range spoiler, not like super high. We've got the nice spoked wheels on there. These ones are really fitting for the Nissan GTRs. On the bottom right here, you can see that matte finish base, just like the Mitsubishi Eclipse. There's the front headlight detail. Just look at that. Great looking Nissan 240SX. Really, really like the styling of that one. What do you guys think? Of this. Car number three of five is the Nissan Skyline GTR BCN R33. This one in yellow, and it's got that classic graphics on the side that we've seen before. We can see it's very clean on the top, just all pure yellow on the top right there. These wheels we've seen before many times. They're very, very nice as well, looking good on the GTRs. We've got those classic GTR taillights encircled, as well as that little logo that we do see in the movie as well, as well as some sponsorships and stuff on the back right there. On the front, we've got some good detail for those lights right there, great stamping. Nice body kit on this one as well, just on that front lip area. Just an overall clean looking, nice Skyline GTR. Nissan Skyline GTR BNR34. This is probably the most classic Skyline GTR that we've seen in the Fast and Furious movies from Too Fast, Too Furious. I love this design and we have seen many, many different releases of this car in a Hot Wheels variation. So we've seen many different premiums, many main lines released in this color scheme, but I think it looks excellent. I love the silver. I love that blue striping, that blue spoiler on there as well. These wheels just look perfect on it. Just look at that detail on the rear end. They've done an excellent job at this variation of it. Just check out that front end detail. Just an overall, it's probably my favorite skyline from any of the Fast and Furious movies. Car number five of five is the 2017 Acura NSX. This one in a classic silver color. This is from F9, the Fast and Furious saga movie, but we've got, look at that detail on that front end. Silver just shows the line of this car absolutely perfectly. We can see we've got that nice blacked out wheels, the spoked ones right there. No special graphics or anything on this one. It's just such a clean looking Acura NSX. I like that body design in the rear. And I do actually prefer how they've updated the front end on the newer NSXs. This front end was no, it's a little bit busy for me. The lights look really nice, but overall, I think it's a cool looking addition to this set. What do you guys think of this Acura NSX? And there we have all five cars from this set. Let me know in the comment section down below, which one do you think looks the best? What's up big timers? Today we are unboxing the Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious set. I got this case from Rhino Diecast. This case includes 10 cars, which equals two complete sets. If you want to get your own case, complete set, or singles, check out Rhino Diecast. Links are in the description box below. Car number one of five is the Mazda RX-7 FD. And this one in a gorgeous looking white color you can see right here. We've got HKS written on the side of it. Some other graphics and stuff. I like these gray wheels. These wheels themselves are just super, super good. They look really good on the RX-7. And this is just my favorite year of the Mazda RX-7. I really, really like these from about 93 or so. Pop-up headlights on the real car. Good details though for those front markers right there. All blacked out windows, of course. And on the back, you can see the great detail that we have for the rear lights. We've got that little lip style spoiler right there as well. Metal base real rider tires, of course, being a premium car, but what a fantastic car in this set. Car number two of five is the 1967 Chevy Camaro Off-Road. And we can see right here 
these big fat tires on here. Just check it out for that off-roadness. It's a matte finish gray color with the matte black striping on there. We've got that little roof right there which they can stick out of and shoot and all that good stuff like in the movie. Lip spoiler on this one, really, really nice. Got the push bars on the rear end right there to help protect it and on the front end. I love this black look around the front. That looks so good. We got those nice lights that are painted right there. That big metal base with that like raised up suspension. And these tires again are just so cool looking on this Chevy Camaro off-road. Car number three of five is the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. And this one also in a matte finish, but it's more of a gray style car. I really like these wheels again. These are similar to the ones that we saw in the Mazda RX-7, but blacked out and bigger on this one right here as well. And obviously for a Trackhawk, we do have that kind of indentation on the front end right there. We got the 710 horsepower engine on this one in real life. Look at that front end, the great details on there. I just love the overall look of the Grand Cherokee in real life got that big moon roof on there as well a little bit of a spoiler kind of right there on that edge nice details for the back lights and all that as well jeep in the middle dual exhaust we've got that metal base also in a gray color which is interesting usually you'd see it in like a black but just an overall fantastic look to this jeep grand cherokee trackhawk what do you guys think of this one car number four of five is the porsche 718 cayman gt4 And this one in a very glossy white color right here. Super, super clean look to this one. And again, we see these wheels blacked out, a little bit smaller for the Porsche Cayman. A little bit of a lip on the front end of it as well, which is really nice. Small Porsche logo you can see in the front end. This Cayman GT4 looks so good. I just really think the white color on this one really suits it, especially with this spoiler. Look at that. We've got a very unique looking spoiler on there, which which is also in a gloss black, but then we do have that matte white kind of trim just on the top right there, which blends in nicely with the gloss white. Just again, just one of the cleanest looking premium Porsche cars that I have ever seen. Black base on there and gloss black with the real rider tires. Overall, fantastic. Super happy with this one now that I've opened it. Car number five of five is the Nissan Skyline GTR BN R34. And this one of the most classic liveries and cars that we have seen from the Fast and Furious series right here. Just love that look on the side for this orange. Big spoiler on there for the R34. Great detail for that back end with the license plate, the stamping for the lights, as well as the Nissan logo right there. And again, the graphics continue down the side on the other side as well. Blacked out wheels on here. These are a little bit different from the other cars in this set for wheels, but I think the suit these Skyline GTRs very, very nicely. And there is that front end. I love the look of the front end of the Skyline GTRs. Looks so, so nice. Just an overall fantastic car. Great addition for car number five of five from this set. And there we have all five cars from this Hot Wheels Fast and Furious Premium set. Let me know in the comment section down below which one's your favorite. What's up, Peak Timers? Let's unbox the Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture Mountain Drifter set. On the back of each card, we can see all five cars that are included in this set. We've got them all here today, so let's open them. Car number one of five is the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Truno. And this one in white with some gorgeous looking artwork on the side of it. Just check out the detail that we have for this one. If you look at the front end of that, you can even see how it continues right from that front end onto the side right there. We've got the real rider tires and wheels right there, obviously, because this is premium. We got the metal base on there as well. And then we look on the back, we can see all of that artwork that continues down. Just a gorgeous looking car. And I love how these headlights right here are popped up. That just looks so cool. They're all painted and everything. It's a great detail to this 886. Car number two of five is the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. 
And I love the color of this one. It's a nice metallic look to it as well. We do have, it looks like almost slight paint air on the top, but it could just be packaging. Oh, it's not really rubbing away that well. So I'm not too sure exactly what that is on the top right there. But on the side, we can see the gray wheels on there, the multi-spoke wheels. On the back, we've got the Tampa work all stamped out right there. The nice spoiler on there, that lip spoiler. And on the front end right there, you can see the nice painted fog lights as well as the painted little lights right there. No popped up headlights on this one right here. That would be cool. I'm not even sure actually. I think it does have the pop up headlights, but nonetheless, this one also made popular as the Dodge Stealth back in the day. That was kind of the Dodge variation of it, but great looking car. Happy to see this one in the Mountain Drifter set. And car number three of five is the 2003 Honda NSX Type R. And this one in a clean looking white color right here with that black top on there. You can see these white wheels on here. It looks so good. And that front end, the Type R front end. So we have that little inlet right there, but it is a mid engine car. So we have the engine in the back right there. And we do have that nice lip spoiler. Those rear lights look so nicely done. They've just done an excellent job at this car just to make it this has got to be one of the cleanest NSXs that I've seen Hot Wheels make ever. Nissan Skyline Liberty Walk R34. I've been looking forward to opening up this casting. Let's do it. And here it is. Just look at the black and red on this. I love this. Look at that front lip on there that comes down right here for that Liberty Walk kit. The detail on the front end for those headlights, the hood. This has got to be one of the nicest Hot Wheels premium castings we've seen in a long time. Love the wheel tire combination on here as well. That spoiler looks so good right there. The nice diffuser on there. Huge, huge diffuser on this one as well. Look at that layer on the spoiler. Liberty Walk, it says on here as well. There's a side look. We even got the roll cage on the inside, the yellow roll cage in there. Wow, what an amazing, amazing looking casting. Super, super happy to add this one to the collection. We might have to put this one in the back display right here so we can take a look at it all the time. 95 Toyota Celica GT4. And an interesting color on this one, it's like a mustard yellow color. I'm not a huge fan of the color itself. I like these chrome wheels. I think they look pretty good, pretty fitting for like a mid 90s car. We always had lots of chrome back in the mid 90s. So the wheels look really good for that. The front end nicely painted, good detail. There's that like nice little inlet right there for that front hood. We even got like, I don't know if this is some sort of roof vent of some sort. I'm not too sure exactly what that's supposed to be. The rear we have great looking with that temple work. It's all painted nicely, little Toyota logo. There's that like nice wing spoiler on there. Not as high as like what a Supra would be back in the day, but I mean, this is like a baby Supra essentially. But the Toyota Celica looking good in this one right here. I would have liked to see a different color, but hey, the casting itself is not disappointing. There we have all five cars from this set. What an amazing set. If you were on the fence about getting this one, I definitely recommend doing it. Make sure you guys hit that like, follow, subscribe. What's up, Timers, let's unbox and review the brand new Deutschland Design Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture Set. On the back of each card, you can see all five cars included in this set. And car number one of five is the Mercedes Benz Sprinter van you can see right here. This one is green with black wheel and tire combination. We can see the nice artwork on this card. I'm not too sure, like, what this is supposed to be some sort of design, I guess, in the card, and it looks like it's going fast of some sort. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what it's like. So being a premium Hot Wheel, the one thing I noticed being a full metal body is this is quite a bit heavy of a casting, but I really like the detail on this one. I mean, I love the thick tires on there. Like, look at that. Just look like wide, thick tires. Obviously they're real riders. We've got that matte finish base on there. We can see the nice detail on the back. We've got a ladder. We've got the spare tire wheel combination. And then we've got that big roof top deck right there. That is so cool. Very, very neat looking. We got the push bar on the front end. Good detail for the headlights and all. This is a very cool metallic green color as well. You can see it just shimmer in my lights right there. But overall, I actually quite like this thing. It's very, very detailed, very nice casting. Car number two of five is the Audi S4 Quattro. This one in yellow with 
chrome wheels on there. And there is our cool artwork on there. Very abstract looking, very like unique. I do kind of like it. I like like the totally different colored cards on here, which match your car color, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and pop this one open. And there is that bright yellow color, very glossy yellow. You can see it just shine in the lights. Those nice chrome wheels. We don't see chrome wheels too often anymore. Most wheels on Hot Wheels Premiums are blacked out. Those big chrome wheels, they look pretty cool. I think they suit the S4 Quattro in this nice yellow color. There's our detail on the front end, painted headlights, the Audi logo in the center. I love that grill on the front right there. That looks really, really neat, very realistic. We can see in the back, we've got the Audi logo in the center, little S4 logo right there as well, and then those nice painted tail lights. Overall, it's a very nice sedan, very fast sedan in real life. Car number 305 is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, and you can see the very nice blue card on this one, again, with the crazy graphics of the car going fast right there. You can see it. This one, we've got blue with the blacked out wheels. Let's go ahead and open it. I love this blue color. This is like that new Miami blue. We're seeing this on a lot of new Hot Wheels. This is kind of like a lighter variation of that blue. So it's a little bit on the sky blue side, but there we do have the nice blacked out wheel tire combination. We've got the real riders, of course, the nice matte finish base on there, all metal body, big metal spoiler on there sticking out. We've got that GT3 RS logo right there, painted tail lights on the back end right there. And that front end is just classic looking, very cool. I love this era of Porsches. I think they look fantastic. The Porsche logo written down the side of it as well. Well, just an overall amazing color, great addition to this Deutschland design set. Car number four of five is the 2012 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupe Black Series. We can see this one is red with chrome wheels. Very, very nice graphics again on here with the going fast all red packaging on this one. Let's go ahead and open it. And there we have it, glossy red color right there. Look at the design language on this one. I love the front grille, classic Mercedes-Benz. And then we've got those kind of inserts on the front hood right there. And then the wide body for the Black Series looks fantastic. We've got the 10-spoke chrome wheels on here, which look excellent. And on the back, we've got the Mercedes logo, the C63 MG logoing right there, the nice painted taillights, metal spoiler on this one. No tinting of the windows by the looks of it. Maybe just a slight bit of tint on the side, but you can still see through. And on the base, we do have the nice matte finish base on here. What do you guys think of this Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG Coupe Black Series? And car number five of five is the 1994 AMG Mercedes C-Class DTM Touring Car. Crazy graphics on the side of it. Check out this card right here. It's kind of like a grayish card, I guess you could say. The car is silver itself, but it's hard to do like a silver card, but I think it's the coloring looks excellent on here. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And there it is in silver. Silver shows the lines of cars so well. We've got those blacked out wheels. These are kind of like the 80-esque wheels. We've seen these on a lot of 80s Hot Wheels premium cars. And then look at all those graphics. I don't even know what they say, what it is, but they look cool. They look like it's ready to race. We can see in the top right there, even we've got like a nice painted like pattern on the top right there. That is very good detail on that. Even it continues onto that front hood right there. Wow, great detail on this one. Check out that front and I love the look of that. Very nice Mercedes-Benz race car look on there. We've got the big rear wing on there and look at the slots in the middle that kind of the little wing stands that hold it up. We've got some cool graphics on the back of it as well, all painted there. We've got the nice base on there in matte black as well, but overall, what an excellent looking design to this car. And they also have a really cool looking Mercedes-Benz C63 chase car to this set. Unfortunately, I don't have it to show you and open up, but this is what it is. If you find it, let me know in the comment section down below. And there we have all five cars included from this set. Let me know in the comment section down below which one's your favorite. What's up, P-Timers? We've got five amazing new Hot Wheels as well as two Hot Wheels Team Transport. Let's open them. And let's start it off with the Ford GT. This one in a great looking blue color. Let's open it. 
this one blue with black wheels right here we can see we've got the center stripe right down the middle which is highlighted by a stripe on the outside great looking detail for those front lights right there absolutely cool looking and then on the back we've got just the great looking design of the Ford GT overall an excellent looking Hot Wheel Honda S2000 Check out this glossy red color. We've got some nice chrome wheels on here. Exhaust tips sticking out the back with the big wing. Honda logo got some nice stamping right there for the rear lights. And this one on the front end, we've got some nice stamping for the front lights. Cool looking hood on here, customized out, as well as we've got this hard top look on here. We know this is a convertible in real life, but the hard top look looks really cool. 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. I love the black look of this one and it's got that like wide body look on it as well. We look in the front, check out that we can see like the cylinder indentation right there. It's like a matte finish hood with a little bit of satin chrome on there as well. Very, very neat looking. We can see from the side, we've got blacked out wheels. We've got this gold kind of lip on them as well. And on the back end, it's just all blacked out. Just one of the coolest looking Boss 302 Mustangs to come to the Hot Wheels mainline. Let's open up the Team Transport. We've got the Porsche 917 LH with the Fleet Flyer. And there we have it right here. You can see the Fleet Flyer Golf livery on this one. Absolutely love the Golf livery. It says Golf Porsche right there on the side. And on the front end, you can see it says Golf right there. And then we've got our 917 in the back. Let's go ahead and pull that right out. And wow, this is an amazing looking car. It's got so much good weight to it. It's premium Hot Wheels car, obviously. Look at the detail that we have on the top right there. I love that design, that kind of pill-shaped design on the top with the painting right there 17 for the Porsche 917 and then on the side we've got these big wide wheel tire combination just check out the deep dishes on the back and it's kind of indentated we've got the golf livery Porsche right here as well nice spoiler on the back just an overall great looking combination I love the team transport series and we're going to definitely collect this one Lancia Stratos Group 5 and the Sakura Sprinter And there we go from the side, the Sakura Sprinter we have with the Lancia written on the back right there, the nice striping that goes all the way down. Lancia written on the front end right there, but it's just a decent looking design. It's kind of like the 80s, maybe 70s, 80s style design. And then we've got the Lancia right here on the back. We'll go ahead and pull that out and check out that car. Great looking design. We've got that nice front lip on there. We've got the kind of small wheel tire on the front and then the bigger ones on the rear. We've got that big spoiler, great looking uh, design and artwork for this one right here with the Lancia riding and then the top and right there with the white roof in the front end that's white we've got the little slots for the vents on the front right there as well and then the 96 written on the side of it but this one is just a cool looking car i would have loved to have seen this car race in real life but it's cool that we have this one in a hot wheels format and here is our combination we'll close that up right there of this team transport lamborghini cyan this is a new casting for 2022. We can see this one in a matte copper goldish color right here. We've got the gold chrome wheels on here as well. And just look at the design on the front end of that one. Very, very Lamborghini. I love this design. And we're seeing this one come out on even some of the newer Lamborghinis now as well. There is that side profile look and even the back end of the Cyan just looks so good. I love the lights, how they kind of stick out right there in the middle. And then we've got just check out that design right there. This color looks fantastic on this car. If you have not found this casting in store yet, you gotta have this one. You gotta look for it. It's definitely worth the wait if you do find it as well. Here we have that Lamborghini Cyan. 71 Lamborghini Mira SV. This one in orange, we've got the chrome wheels on here. This is the mainline variation. It does come as a super treasure hunt. So if you find it as a super treasure hunt, you are definitely lucky. I have not found it yet. There we have the Mura 
front and right there. This is one of the, uh, it's like the early supercars, I would say. This is just a design that is timeless, and we've definitely seen this one kind of mesh into the newer supercars. See, it says Miria SV on the back right there. We've got those classic slots, which were kind of popular in the 1970s or so, and then the design from the side. We have seen this one as a Hot Wheels ID car. We've seen it as the Super, the main lines now. So lots of iterations of this Mira SV, but I think it's a great design. What a great lineup of cars that we opened up today. Let me know which ones you see here that you have added to your collection already and which ones you're looking for. What's up, Peak Timers? Today we are unboxing the Hot Wheels Premium Retro Entertainment Set. I got this case from Rhino Diecast. This case includes 10 cars, which equals two complete sets and two extra cars. If you want to get your own case, complete set, or singles, check out Rhino Diecast. Links are in the description box below. Ford Super Deluxe, and this one is from the Back to the Future movie right here. Let's go ahead and open it. And as you can see right here, we've got what looks to be a big glob of poo, but I think it's mud. I can't remember exactly. It's been a long time since I watched the movie, but you guys can remind me in the comment section what exactly that's supposed to be. I think it's mud of some sort. But nonetheless, it's such a unique feature to this car. So very interesting to see that. We've got the chrome wheels with the white wall tires on there. Good detail on the front end, even with that license plate and all. And from the side, it's just, it's just a unique car. It's just something to have into your collection because it's just so funny and unique looking. What do you guys think of this Back to the Future Ford Deluxe? From James Bond 007, You Only Live Twice, it's the Toyota 2 2000 GT Roadster. Let's open it. And this one in a gorgeous looking white color right here. Very, very clean lines to it. Love these classic wheels on here. Look great. And then that front end, there's that. It's very, very unique to the Toyota 2000 GT. I really like that front end. And from the side right there, it's just a gorgeous looking beautiful lines on this roadster nice black interior we've got the right hand drive right there there is the rear end good detail for the lights and all as well just an overall fantastic looking casting the Toyota 2000 GT from the brand new Nintendo Super Mario Bros movie it is plumber van And check that one out. Check out the details on the back with the Super Mario Bros right there. Then we do have the nice gray wheels on there and all of our plumbing material, the ladder, the pipes and all that stuff uniquely planted on the top right there on the front end. Nice clean details for that one right there. From the side, it just looks so cool. It just looks very Mario-esque. Even on the back end right there, we've got those kind of oversized doors on there all grayed out. Nice details for the rear lights. What a unique new casting to the Hot Wheels lineup. What do you guys think of this new Super Mario Bros movie car? From Rugrats, it's Reptar Wagon. A very unique looking casting. Even check out the artwork on there. Very, very neat. Let's open it. And check out that big open mouth. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a casting like this before. Super, super cool. All metal body, of course, being premium on here. Also real riders, just like all the cars on this one right here. And we've got these little hands that kind of come out and actually like super good quality. I love how these go up and down as well. And we've got his tongue sticking out, got some sort of like goggles and stuff on there. I just love how this opens up. It's just so cool looking, very, very unique. Got that little seat in there as well. What an interesting casting to the Hot Wheels. We have all four cars from this Hot Wheels retro entertainment set. Let me know in the comment section down below which one's your favorite. And don't forget to go check out Rhino Diecast if you wanna get your own set of these. Links in the description box below.